Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. So today we are going to be practicing a little bit more. Going to be learning how to ride a motorcycle. I posted one of my videos to Reddit and everyone there was really helpful. Almost, mostly everybody. I got a lot of criticism, but that's good. It's a good thing. Uh, I got a lot of really great uh, advice. So we're going to take that advice today and uh, we're going to break up with the clutch. What? I am done. I don't deserve this. I really do not deserve this. She's moving out. Uh, we're breaking up. Never talking again. Except, you know, business needs to be done in first gear and transitioning between all the gears. But besides that, I'm going to break up with the clutch today. So no holding it as much. We're going to take our turns a little bit differently we're gonna do things a little bit differently so I'm gonna take the advice and then afterwards you guys can let me know the things that I'm continuing to do wrong or that I've changed up and maybe still wrong or the things I'm doing better at yada 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 and then hopefully you know beginners can come here and and learn those things as if they have those questions as well so let's go ahead and fire up the bike <sighs> So I just rode this, so uh, it's already warmed up. I don't really need to warm the bike up. But what I do need to do is kick it into first gear. Now we're not going to play with that clutch so much today. We're just going to chill. We're going to worry about throttle control and basically brake control. So right before we hit this, we're going to grab the clutch, lay off the throttle, kick into first. All right. And we're good to go on both. That was a sketchy turn. I know I'm not perfect. Just getting the hang of it. Just getting the hang of it. Just getting the hang of it. Okay. Come to a complete stop. Let that clutch go a little bit faster, you know? Ooh. See? Didn't touch either of the clutch or the brake when going into that turn. It's good advice, but I'm also feeling like I want to keep like one finger on the brake a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not hitting the brake, just keeping one finger on the brake. Whoa. Yeah, going too low. Going too low into the uh, RPMs for second gear. Holy crap, do you guys see that plane up there? Look at this. Holy crap, look at this plane. That is in, wow. That's some crazy army shit. God damn. Wow. Cool. All right. Let's uh let's continue. That was a good turn right there. God damn it. Uh I always do this shit. I always hit in a neutral. I just, I just like, don't do it good enough or something. I don't know. There we go. Good lord. I'll get it. I'll get it. Shit's just fucking. It ain't easy. It ain't easy going from never using a manual transmission and never riding a motorcycle. 
to doing it all in two seconds. It just, it ain't cool. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, I love this shit. But it is like, it's a lot to remember in your head. It's, it's, it's a lot to remember, and I'm sure, you know, as I go on, <laughs> no clutch, baby. I'm sure as I go on, I will have this all down as muscle memory, I'm sure. Now that jerking, I'm assuming, I don't know why I gotta put my finger on the brake, I just feel like I have to. That jerking, I feel like that is what you guys are telling me to brake with my engine, like slow down the RPMs. I mean, I'm not going fast enough, I'm literally in a neighborhood. And by the way, I know I don't have a jacket on again. It's just because I don't own one yet, like I said before. So we're going to switch gears. Whoa, that was a fast stop. Luckily, no one behind me and shit. So I know I'm not doing perfect. I'm in a neighborhood, no traffic, you know. If there was someone behind me, it'd be a lot safer. Fucking neutral again. God damn it, son of a bitch. Fucking suck ass with these gear things. I really do. So my clutch feels a little bit better today. This guy's gonna pull out right here. Alright, I feel like I'm doing a lot better, except in second it is just so jerky. I'm just going to ask you guys and make sure that that's normal. Do you think it's normal if it's that jerky? You know, in second, just going that slow? You let me know. Damn. I'm a bouncy motherfucker. I feel, like the, I feel like even though this technique is probably so much better, I did so much. I feel like I did so much better before, which is pretty fucking funny. I guess I'm just gonna have to get the hang of that feeling. You know what I mean? Just get used to it. I feel like I have good control of the bike though.
I see what you're saying. Like you can jack this bike up and then just like the right, like it can't, the RPMs going down will just kind of slow it down. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll go one more round or about, round about and then we're gonna, we're gonna head back home. All right, just take it around. Nice. Then we can go faster. These tips are helping me out a lot. I mean, I just feel like inherently I wouldn't feel like you were supposed to do this because some of the things, you know, that they don't feel right when you ride the bike like this. And you would think as a new rider, like, you know, these things, They don't. How'd I do? How'd I do right there? Is that alright? I wasn't sure if I could go below like 15 miles per hour in second gear, but apparently you can. Alright, we're about to cut it off right here if my GoPro hasn't already filled up. Oh my god, there's that plane again. Jesus, this is. What's going on? I think that I'm like. My bad driving is telling is like warning the Air Force. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time with whatever I make.